Hey guys, figure we go live and do a demo of what she's got going on here. Hey guys, feeling better today, <laughs> finally. Don't ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> this is a pulled wing, I'm just going to touch, tap, and pull. I'm making some little miniature cardinals. They're mowing next door, so you'll have to bear with us if you hear them. Sorry. It's part of life, though, when you live in the country like this. Got grass everywhere. And, and we've had a lot of rain lately, so... The grass is growing good. If you're joining us, say hi. If you're saying hi and I'm not seeing it, then I'm sorry. It's on the motorcycle. We've had a whole group of motorcycles that come through, and if you've ever been to the shop, you know if you go down to the right side of the shop, the road dead ends at dirt. And uh, people miss the turn all the time to go to Branson or Eureka Springs, and they go down this road, then they hit dirt, turn around, come back. And there was a big bunch of motorcyclers that just went that way. <laughs> We're like, yeah, they'll be back. They must have hit dirt road and came back. <laughs> Oh, goodness. You want to run out and say, wrong way, wrong way, but it sure as do. There's probably somebody that lives down there that they know. <laughs> we just let them go. Sue Patton waved at us, said hi. Hi, Sue. Or, well, didn't say hi, day. but is waving at us. So I'm going to put a little hook on it. Sometimes these little hooks can be the most challenging part. She makes it look easy as not easy. Okay, so while I was making the loop, I melted his little tuft. I'm going to tuft it back up. I'm not sure what the hole is in. Okay. I didn't see it. Huh? Didn't get, didn't get to see it? I mean, yeah, but it was blurry. Can you see it now? Kind of, yeah. Okay. There he is, guys. Hi. Do another one. Your glass floor want to know how to make cardinals? There you go. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Sorry, guys. Alright, y'all. I don't know if you're familiar with this or not, but as you can see right now, you can see all the orange from the flame. That will not hurt your eyes looking at it like I am. But, you take this, what's called didymium, does that, I say that right? Didymium. I just got a little look, just a circle of it here, and I'm stick it over my camera lens, and it filters out all that orange. With the camera though, you can't see through the fire as good as you could with being in person. Yes, Karen, this is Candace. I don't sound like myself right now. <laughs> Mom, give me that cold. And I just had that nasal surgery stuff done, so it's clearing out, thankfully. Patty Ames Rogers says, love to watch you work. Patty Throsh says, hi, Kay, love watching you make magic. June 
Asher says hello from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Karen, this is Candace. And then Ricky Wilkerson says hello. <laughs> hey guys. This will be the wings again. John Somer says, Hey John, what's up, bud? As always, making it look easy. K is pure talent. No kidding. Enjoying some of your marbles. You're doing great. Oh, that's what keep comes out of the shop. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, goodness. She keeps me straight. I keep her straight. It works. So I'm going to go ahead and do the hanger. I can find my so. I'm going to do the top. Get your first piece. Yeah. It's not pulled already. Long for a hook, but it'll be okay. I don't like gravity pull it over. Now I finished out his head and his face. Blowing the glass. I wish. I thought you meant, is it me talking? <laughs> it's mom. I'm not this scared yet. I still got a ways to go. She just needs some practice time. We just haven't had the torch available for it. As soon as my husband gets the shop added on to it, I'll be right to work. <laughs> That's kind of we're we're hoping that the the auctions continue to do well. Kind of melted that in. We're hoping the auctions kind of continue to do well, so I might be able to get a loan to uh, to build on another part of the shop so that I can set up tables and torches for my daughters. At least Candace for sure. We can get her going. She's ready to. She's ready to be making and selling. Those three pinnacles is all I've done, though. <laughs> oh, he's flying too fast. <laughs> Vanessa Sanders, ready? Perfectly clear. Those will get painted. Taking a break for a second. From my arms sitting up here. So again, just start with a blob. Let gravity pull it down. On the head. I'm going to go ahead and do the beat. The 
Those are the tufts. I'll stand over you. Over hair. your shoulder. Do the tail. Cindy Christopherson mm -hmm. says hello. Hey, Cindy. You take another piece of glass and just kind of touch it and lightly pull just enough to give you that tail for cardinal. I'm going to do the wings. And all it is is a touch and pull. Touch, pull, pull. Touch, pull, and pull. Pull and pull. Pull and pull. So that it cools down to the right temperature. Right temperature to pull it so it's not skinny. So it stacks. Yep. And it stacks up nice. When you're going to have to, excuse me, I'm probably not going to pronounce your name right. Ginter? Gintner? G-I-N-T-N-E-R? Ginter. Mm -hmm. Says, so what do you paint them with? It's an acetone-based paint. Um, a lacquer, but it's translucent, and it's made especially for glass, so that it's translucent. They do make some opaque colors, but uh, the translucent really lets you still enjoy the glass. I'm going to take this down just a hair so that it's a lot smaller flame, but it still is hot. Same thing with letting gravity do its thing. Hi. And his little tuft got a little out of out of tuft, so I'm gonna fix it. I accidentally hit the button, hit it twice, and it flipped around on me. <laughs> and there he is. Again? Yeah, it's just not very clear. I mean, the bird is clear. Oh, okay. Oh, turn to the side. There you go. Okay. I've got a few more of these to make, so you want to keep watching, hang with me. You want to sign off? Or you I'm gonna, wanna... Yeah, you, well, whatever you want to do, Candace. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some implosions here in just a little bit. Um, I have a few more of these to make, and then I'll start the implosions. Should I show them that hummingbird that's clear? Yeah, show them. Show them. Yeah, you can show them that one, the one that's clear painting. So this is a hummingbird that we sell. It does not have to be auction only. We sell this as you order it. We have several different sizes. This one is the, is this the medium? Yeah. yeah this is the medium in size. Yeah. And that is the clear... That's the paint, Lynn, um, that they get painted with. Um, so you can see it kind of allows it to be the... No, no fading in the sun. Shouldn't. No, uh-uh. Um, but as you can see, it allows it to be beautiful. If it fades in the sun, send it back to me and I'll fix it. But it should never happen. Yeah, it's kind of like that. We have min minis, so little bitty mini ones, half inch to an inch. and then a half inch to inch is the smalls. No, that's the mini. That's the mini. Oh, mini. 
<laughs> one inch to two inch is the smalls, right? Yeah, I'm going to take a three inch. Two to three is the medium, which is this one. And then we have large, and it's the three to four. There's a clear large over here. I don't have it painted yet. Up on the yeah, shelf, huh? It's from the included the birds that I didn't do in the kilns. Okay. We didn't do what's in the kiln today. Because we didn't have much in there. We didn't have very much. We only had one item. Uh, here's the large clear hummingbird. They're still very nice, very pretty. The red birds, um, the cardinals, is that what you're talking about, Vanessa? Somebody ordered them, and uh, Mom is working on that custom order. However, you can order them as you would like, and we do sell those in the shop. So we would if they were not going to anybody special. Karen says after five years, hers have not faded. Nice. That is awesome. We love hearing good feedback. Well, we like hearing bad feedback too, so we know what to fix, but <laughs> we love that good feedback. Get this fixed up here. And this little guy here was what was in the kiln today. Oh, let me not flip that way. Sorry, y'all. Mom fell up there. He's like 18 years old. One of her original first bells. That's probably about 20 years old. It's not painted any. So this guy has this spiky flower. What would, what would you consider that, Mom? What? White flower? This and this hummingbird's belly here. It's a spike flower. Spike it's flower. Like a desert flower. <clears throat> Are you going, going to make the um, series of those, Mom? I'm going to do several of them with different colors. I got, a, got my new purple in and a new magenta in that I'm going to do some hummingbirds with some white flowers today. A new purple and a new magenta it will be up for auction tomorrow. You'll see those tomorrow in What's in the Kiln. Anyways, here's that one. Here, I'm going to show you the length. How big it is. Here's my hand. Well, not as big as my hand, but you, you catch my drift. The wing spread is wider than my fingertips. Actually, so it's a pretty good sized hummingbird. I have big hands for a woman. Mom says he's about a four inch. So, anyways, that one will be up for auction uh, tomorrow night. Right? Yeah. She's over here, got another cardinal made over there on the kiln. Right over there. Have you showed them the new marble stand? Stand? Uh, marble holder? I did in pictures, but I don't know if I did on video. I'm not sure. The new marble stand. Like us on Facebook. Be sure to follow us. You'll get notifications when we go live. So it has a, the hole goes all the way through it, that way you can put those up in there. Of course it's going to be ornery.
there. Okay. There's actually a red bird right there in colored glass, a cardinal. We're selling the shop. <laughs> Let me see. Trying to get it to focus, y'all. Sorry. Plays game with the eyes. Cherry says, I love that you're putting implosions in the bodies. Awesome. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Just thought I'd do something a little different. I've been doing the implosions in their bodies for about a year now, I believe. I went back and looked uh, the other day, and I've got them that go way back on my page. So, I have to grab the dodenium, please. But they do get better all the time. Some things get better with age. <laughs> yes, Vanessa, that was a white swan. Would you like to see it? <laughs> and she says she likes the new stand. Thank you. Features the marbles a little bit better, I think. I like it too, whenever it cooperates with me, it lets me put the marble where I want it. <laughs> Cherry says it's a great add on. Thanks. They're fun to do too. Yeah, she, she was going to do them, and I said, Mom, you got those cardinals done yet? No. I said, okay, what are you going to do those? Are you going to do, are you going to play? <laughs> yeah, you know, Terry, it's a chore. It's hard not to play. She said, I'll do those, and I said, okay, you can play later. <laughs> yeah, i got to get this order made. She said, yes, do. we do with a laugh and crying smiley face. Okay, Vanessa, I'll show you that white swan real fast. It's a mini. So it's head. Has it got green eyes? Yep. Mm. I have to keep backing away in order for it to focus. There you go. Very pretty. And we've got some customers. Well, Vanessa will get to see your sister. <laughs> see what? That's Vanessa's sister. 
Veronica. Oh, Is Vanessa Sanders? Sanders? Your sister's on. Would you like to Facebook say hi? Live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got some visitors. How are you? Doing good? <laughs> It was a little harder. Drop and glass of Cherry, so that's for sure. LOL. Mm -hmm. Ugh, sorry, I had an itch. Focus. Yeah. Okay. Only three more to go and I'm done. Should we close out and come back? Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back shortly, y'all. Stay tuned.